Oh, good God. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Ooh, a topaz. Why would you attack us over a, a bloody door? All right. Honestly. There's a corpse. The body of the real what? That was a. Oh. I'm just gonna. Ooh, that's nice. And his research, awesome. That's what we needed. Uh, let's take another look at the book. And the chantry hierarchy. Not that interesting, if you ask me. Well, this um, took a turn for the weird. <laughs> God damn. Oh god, frames just went nuts for a second there. Um, let's have a look at our quest because I'm kind of lost. What the hell just happened? Um, his research suggests that the village of Haven in the mountains to the west might have some clues as to the location of the urn. Brother Geneventi, Ge Genetivi, uh, must have gone to Haven to continue his search. Okay. So we're supposed to go there. I'm not going there yet, though, just because... Actually, can I escape to the world map from here? Can I oh, I can go to different alleys, but no, I'm wanting to leave. Uh, let yeah, let's go to the party camp. See if we can't buy a... Light. How will you end it? Well, hi there. <laughs> well, this is sudden. Uh, what is it with this episode and just like... BAM! Have stuff in your face. Just like, the blight, how you lend it. By the way, I'm Waylon. No, I'm not, really. I killed Waylon. His body's back there. Uh, what is going on? Um, we, f we fight the Archdemon. We kill him. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. You doubt I'm really a warden. Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the wardens. So far, I am not impressed. I'm... Yeah, I'm kind of new. I, they, they told me there was going to be, you know, like, six-week training period where I'd be an apprentice to a warden, but that kind of didn't happen. Will you make that excuse to the Archdemon? Or the victims it claims in the meantime. Ah, oh, Sten. Ed, everything I do, you disapprove of. <sighs> Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? <laughs> A cheese knife? Uh, let me see your wares, I'm brother. sure you'll be pleased with the good... Okay, so, uh... Sylvian's Mercy. Extra nature damage. Five spell power, um, five point two damage. Mm, yeah, I'll take it. It's not as good as what I was hoping I could get, but um, suppose it's better than nothing. Let's just—I got that um, gift. The. Steel symbol of Andraste. I wonder if I can gift that to Liliana. You know what? I'm going to save the game just because I don't trust this damn thing. Uh, gift. <laughs> the game has a nasty habit of just like taking 50 likeness, liking points off. I don't know. Um, okay, so this one is for Liliana. How dear of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, hon. Uh, let's see. Alistair. I can give him the Grey Warden hand puppet. No, I can't, because he already has it. <laughs> um, steel braces. Exquisite 
carvings of war hounds on them. I'll, I'll give you the lamb bone. <laughs> uh, oh, blue satin shoes. I'm guessing that's Liana. Oh, how yep. dear of you. Uh, you so silver much. sword of mercy. Hmm, I don't know about that. And Astra's grace. Flowers? For me? They smell oh, lovely. I forgot and we haven't given her so it in. Familiar about them. Yeah. These, these were my mother's flowers. She would sprinkle the dry petals amongst her clothes. Oh, they smell just like her. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, skill acquired. Oh, she's got maximum, uh, massive bonus to cunning. I'm very happy with that. That's awesome. Um, and I think that's, yeah, she's maxed out 100% approval. So now let's go to, say, Morrigan. Do we have anything we can give you? Uh, joining Chalice. Would that be for Alistair, maybe? You know what, I'm gonna, <laughs> I know this sounds, this seems pretty scummy. But I'm going to save before I give it to him. Um, Alistair, I present to you this chalice. Is that for me? Really? Wow. I'm... T wow. It, dude, it's, it's, a, it's a chalice. It's not that special. Um, that's something to sell. I don't think there's anything else we can give. Okay. So this is brilliant. Oh, actually, we should probably talk to people quickly while we're here. So, um, Alistair? Something on your mind? Any new of questions course. I can give you? Uh, no. Uh, Liana? The stars are out. Uh, I guess there's still beauty to be found in the world. It comforts me to know that the stars will remain untouched by the blight. That whatever happens down here, they will shine eternally, their light undimmed. There is a story about that cluster of stars over there. Do you know it? Elindra and her soldier? Uh, no. Tell me it, please. A long time ago, there lived a fair maiden called Elindra. She had many suitors, but spurned them all for she did not love them. One day, Elindra was sitting by her window in her father's castle, singing and dreaming, when her lovely voice caught the attention of a young soldier. Entranced by her song, the soldier drew near to Elindra's window. As their eyes met, he fell in love with her, and she with him. When Elindra told her father about the man she had chosen, he was furious, for Elindra was high-born, but her love nothing more than a common soldier. To keep them apart, he had Elindra imprisoned in the highest tower of his castle, and sent her soldier to the wars. Alas, not a month had passed before news of the soldier's death reached Elindra. Alone in her tower, Ouch. Elindra wept for her love and beseeched the gods to deliver her from this cruel world. So earnest was her plea that the gods themselves were moved. They gathered Elindra into their arms and lifted her high into the heavens, where she became a star. The gods also raised up the soul of Elindra's soldier love and there he dwells, across the horizon from her. The band of stars between them is a river of Elindra's tears, cried for her lost love. They say that when Elindra has cried enough, she will be able to cross the river to be reunited with her soldier. That's... You know what, that is quite a nice story. This story is one of my favorites. A tale of a love so great and so enduring that it defies death and moves the gods to action. Sometimes I ask myself, does such a love exist? Can it exist? Um. Suppose if we lose hope, then we're truly lost. I never expected you to say that. It is a pleasant surprise. Why is that a surprise? <laughs> I have to say there is a certain severity to you. Finding a person behind that all is nice. Maybe you should let your softer side show more often. Sometimes following your heart, not your head, leads you to remarkable places. 
Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened, but uh, okay. So we got told. Uh, I can. I kind of like the story. It's sort of a, one of those. I'm. I'm not talking to you, Sten. 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 Me and you are not talking right now. You're on timeout for being rude. Now sit in the corner and think about what you've done. <laughs> Um, I like it because it's sort of a unexpected twist, just because you, you sort of like you'd expect that kind of story to be like, oh, you know, they lived happily ever after, that kind of thing. Um, he saved her from the tower, that kind of thing. But no, no, they, they died. <laughs> it's kind of a weird twist. Anyway, Morrigan, what do you have to say? What do you wish of me? Uh, I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Okay, no, you've got nothing new to say. Uh, Spunty! Let's go say hi to Spunty. Hey there, boy. Hey there. Who's a good Spunty? <laughs> I will never get tired of that. <laughs> okay. Onward! Yes. To the elves! Indeed. I think that's the town of Haven that we need to go to. Maybe that. I can't remember which. Oh, god damn, we've found combat again. <laughs> what is it with this game and its damn combat? Uh, I think... Oh, no, it's a trader. Old Tegrin. You have coins, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Uh, how are things going in Orzammar? There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Understand? Well, you're rude. <laughs> Fine, let's see this discount. What do you have? Um, a Tome of Skill and Sundry. I wish I could get afford that. Um, a Warden's... How did you get a Warden's Weapon? Like... How? <laughs> oh, well. Um, ceremonial Armoured Boots? Ooh, they are nice. And I'm not strong enough to wear them, apparently. Damn. That is a shame. But, uh, the heavy armor's not as good as what we're wearing. The apprentice belt. Uh, temperant. Nah. Nothing that seems to be this import that important. I will sell our topez, though, for a little bit. Nope. Nothing that you can offer us. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. Quiet, cow. <laughs> Are you telling me there's another combat? Or have we actually reached a place? I can never tell with this game. The, lo the loading screens are so long. I think Stop we've reached right a place. There, the Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. Um... Is this how you greet travellers? This is no stop on a traveller's journey. We have neither an inn for you to rest in nor bread to share. I suggest you move on. Hmm. Actually, I've been looking for the Dalish. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? Uh, I'm a Grey Warden. I wish to speak to your leader. A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? Uh, I guess we'll persuade her. You'll just have to take my word on it. I I suppose I could show you... What? A, oh, the oath. We're, we're wearing the Warden's oath. You know, that little uh, amulet with the drop of blood from the chalice in it. Why can we not show her this and be like, Hello, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Grey Warden. Proof. I suppose that a lie wouldn't gain you much benefit. I shall bring you to the Keeper. Oh, in well. the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself. And remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Such a lovely lady. You know, threatening me and. <sighs> hmm. Hey, Emerge. I see we have guests. Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. Guys, can you not that talk about me in, you know, third person? I'm here. You may return to your post. 
Manuvinen Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaprian, the Keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Uh... My name is Coven. Pleasure to meet you. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? <laughs> I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some um, explanation. Please, follow me. You're damn right I want an explanation. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's, that's a good explanation. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would werewolves? wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak, even with all our magic and healing skill. We will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. <sighs> Damn it. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... That would be no trivial task to retrieve. Um, why do I get the feeling you're going to ask me to get it anyway? I would not ask such a thing of anyone. You asked, did you not? That Within is a good the point. Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. Hmm. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I can understand that. That's... If I help you, what aid will you give the Grey Wardens? We would assist with the Blight, of course. And you would have our gratitude. Okay, that's fair enough. I'll do I it. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I'll, I'll do my bloody not. best, but, um... I need some equipment. Can you sell me stuff? Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. Awesome. I, I should must go. return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. So, looks like we're hunting down, you know, these, this thing as well, Witherfang. Oh god, it's a never end to the... Why do we have to... Why do we get stuck with everything, guys? Do we just look like idiots? Don't answer that, Morgan. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this little recording session here. I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or if you're feeling particularly generous, subscribe. It really does help me out. Um, I should... Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. <laughs> uh, nope. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode then, folks. See you later.